Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Now. I'm Miss Nanny. In today's video, we're going to unbox and install this water chiller and hook it up to our laser. So let's get to it. So Montport sent us this water chiller to hook up to our laser and it finally came in the mail and I'm super excited to get it unboxed and installed. So Megan, what is a water chiller? I don't know dad, what is a water chiller? It's basically like a refrigerator for the water to go through and cool down. So when we first set this up, we just used a bucket with distilled water and had the pump kind of just flow in water that was in the bucket. So how'd that work out for you? It worked out pretty okay. Uh, it's nice and cool out right now, so it's not too bad. I mean, we're doing super intense projects where the water would get mm -hmm. hot, but over time, the water temperature of the water in the bucket would heat up to a point where it wouldn't be as ideal. A water chiller actually actively cools the water so that when it cycles through the machine, it gets cooler. So, so you like cool you said, water. a refrigerator. Exactly. So just nice cold water coming out of this end. You ready to get to unboxing? Yeah, let's get to it. Let's go. Instruction manual, power cord, extra fuse, uh, some kind of connector. I think this is for a little alarm thing, if you have that. Which I don't, I'm not sure we have. We'll have to read the instructions on that one. And a couple hose clamps. Alright, so eventually we need to build a nice little custom desk here, or maybe even a rolling desk that we can kind of move out we need that will hold all of this because this won't fit into here so we're just going to set this here for now and get this thing hooked up so what we need to do now is disconnect here because these are going to hook up here first let me get these caps off so you want your inlet line for your laser the laser has this tube labeled as inlet because that's going to be the cold water so of course we want to hook this to the outlet of the water chiller you don't want to crank too hard on this because you'll crack the plastic. But that is nice and on there. So now we're hooking the laser outlet line to the water chiller inlet. So now while we have this backwards, we're going to go ahead and utilize this little uh, fill. What is this called? Fill level? So now that we have this connected and we're going to take advantage of it being backwards so that we can use this fill level to make sure we have enough water in there. So let's go get some distilled water and pour it in the fill nozzle. We're just going to use a little funnel so we can keep things nice and clean. So it took about two and a half gallons of distilled water. Now we'll go ahead and turn it around and plug it in. Okay, very important to make sure that your tubes aren't kinked in any way. It looks like everything's all good. Still plugged in there. So you can hear like little bubbles that's getting all the air out of the lines right now. And we'll go ahead and confirm that by looking at the laser tube. Yeah, there's no air in the laser tube. And what's really neat about this uh, water chiller is we've got our temperature right here. Unfortunately, we can't turn it into Fahrenheit, so we'll just have to learn Celsius. But I think 13.6 is okay. We'll just monitor this and see if we can get it cooler and whatnot. But it also has an alarm if it gets too warm, um, but because our laser seems to have an issue with its water display, you know, every time the laser fires, it kind of um, blinks out a little bit. This one is completely independent and will be able to tell us our water temperature. So that's, that's good. So let's go do a project. 
So we have Lightburn up and we're just gonna go ahead and use the text tool here. We're gonna put our little saying. We're gonna go ahead and use the height adjustment and I think we want it to be about a half inch tall. And we'll just set it up right there. And now we're just going to set up our speed and power. Okay, now we'll go laser this out. So just a reminder, make sure you unplug your original water pump if you had it plugged into the back of your laser because we just turned our laser on and we made a little mess in here because there was no tube and that water pump splashed the water out. So make sure you unplug that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this little spoon here, our little taste tester, and put it in here like kind of is not straight, so we use a little piece of foam tape here. Which we don't know how safe that is to use on Yeah, that. it'll be okay. But we don't know exactly where the laser is gonna be in our design, we'll have to adjust that. Um, but that should be okay to start us out. Went a little deep with it. Probably should have uh, sped that up a little bit. But we'll do a little sanding on this and see what, what turns up. Let's go rinse that off. I think we got pretty good results. Could have uh, centered it a little bit better, but pretty neat. It was a pretty decent, easy setup to put the chiller in, and then the spoon turned out very good. Yeah, and so far, all that burning, it only raised it up 0.3 degrees Celsius, and it should start cooling it back down. So I think this is a pretty cool add-on to your laser. Yeah, I really like the setup. It's way quieter than the original pump that came with the laser, which you just kind of stick in a bucket. This is a little bit more professional. And I just think this is a cleaner setup and a cleaner just like look than just a gross bucket collecting a bunch of water. So yeah. I think it looks very nice. Very professional. Thank you, Mom Port, for sending this to us. So don't forget to use our discount code listed below in the description for 6% off your order. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you can get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.